Hey there, gorgeous friend. How are you? Welcome to Soulvine. This is Jamie and we are checking in Pisces for your energies. Sun, moon and rising will be the most dominant. Uh, yeah, let's just jump in and see what is going on and how we can best support your journey. Just want to say welcome to all our new friends here. Uh, let us know where you're from and uh, our usual most valued crew who are here and part of the Soul Collective. Um, as always, you're awesome. Let's connect in and see what is going. And if you haven't liked or subscribed yet and you've been here a while, I'd love that. I'd love a bit of love. Sometimes we all need it, right? Um, just to know that, you know, it's uh, we're, we're being seen, we're being felt and we're not going unnoticed. All right. So straight up, we've got Ace of Swords, Eight of Swords and Strength Energy. Okay. Seven of Swords. What's going on? Page of Cups. Four of Wands. Ten of Cups. Ten of Pentacles. Whoa. One more. King of Wands. All right. Let's, um, let's unpack this, shall we? Let's have a look at the bottom of the deck. Okay, we've got the page of wands on the bottom of the deck. So straight up, guys, ace of swords, eight of swords and the strength energy. There's some something that you're either trying to gain clarity on here or have gained some understanding about. And for some reason, it seems to be troubling you here with the eight of swords and you're you're trying to maintain some strength and I don't know why why you're needing this strength in particular if it's got something to do with a seven of swords something that you've learned or found out is put you in a bit of a stressful situation where you feel that maybe someone isn't doing the right thing or there's a little bit of sense of betrayal here um, we are going to unpack this you know it could be around a commitment or around the home front you know four of wands is about usually happy family. Um, it can be also about somewhere that you're meant to be going um, or you've been invited to. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of getting more. For some of you, you might just find out that someone's asked someone else to event or someone's expressed interest to someone else. Uh, and, you know, maybe it's something you weren't expecting. What I'm just getting here, though, with this page of cups, the page of cups is still a little... There's interest, there's curiosity, but it's not grown to a level of commitment, so to speak. And there's something going on here. Again, we're going to have to unpack it. But you do have the Four of Wands, the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles and the King of Wands. So as you move through this or as something happens here, there is something quite wonderful occurring that is bringing a lot of joy, a lot of stability, a lot of success on the home front. And it's something that you're feeling mighty fine about, you're feeling really good about, you're feeling motivated about, uh, or someone is feeling motivated about you and what this is and where this is going. And it's interesting, there's a trust around it. So let's, um, let's understand this a little bit more because I do feel for some of you, you've potentially been in a situation where you had to make perhaps new decisions, a new path because of some truth that you did learn, okay? So that could be part of this scenario. And as you're entering a new phase of your life or a new era of your life, there's still these maybe doubts that you're experiencing, things that you are feeling and going through on a mental, you know, note that as you're trying to move forward, as you're trying to build this new part or version of yourself th there's still some reflection here of this seven of swords that's occurred uh, and maybe you don't want to go in too much or if someone isn't giving you as much acknowledgement or care maybe you have too, too many questions maybe it's making you feel uncomfortable or unsupported there's something here about this energy that's making me feel you're questioning someone's intent here um, or whether to actually put more effort and energy into it. But on the other side of this, it looks wonderful. So there is going to be some communication with this page of wands. 
seven of cups and six of swords with this justice energy and then two of cups. Okay, interesting. So I just feel this is about you having to look and reflect on some some decision or some path that you're going on and what you are moving away from. Um, it could be around a marriage. It could be around a connection, a commitment that you had. But it's like you're hearing from someone. It's like someone's coming in who's had a bit of regret or sadness. It's like they've had some realization. And, you know, like these things do happen in dynamics. Sorry, one sec. <laughs> oh, that was a big sneeze some clearing out of some things um I'm just getting a sense though this is not uh, this energy I don't know if you've had uh, yeah an interesting situation with someone that you have moved away from but you're also looking at certain decisions that you are making today and where you want to build but there's still some reflection of the past energy here is what I'm feeling there's still a lot of work going on, healing going on. But let's um, get a little bit more and see where all this is going. Spirit, can you show us what the influence is here of this situation? What do we need to see? So we've got the Queen of Wands. Okay, it's given us two more. We've got the Knight of Swords and the Mother Star energy. Okay. You may have had a bit of a situation that you've been in that has been a lot of back and forth or a lot of... Um, you know, just conversations where you couldn't get it worked out or balanced out. Um, maybe there was, you know, some conversations you want to you wanted to have some understanding around something that maybe felt a little wonky for you. Um, but this also could be, and I, we've spoken about this past residue or past experiences that you've been through that you're trying to understand this time around that you're not getting it wrong. Because something's bothering you here. And I am going to get clarity on what this Seven of Swords is. But underneath it, I don't know if this was related to another energy, another feminine energy. But this is also, if you're em embracing this Queen of Wands energy, you're also in a place of being focused on the things that you actually want in your life and how you want to feel, how you want to be treated, how you want to be acknowledged. And it's, it's actually a very passionate energy when we come into... Um, the fire energy, very passionate, quite independent and strong to go forth and do what, you know, you need to do. It's an action oriented energy when it comes to the wands. However, if this is parts of you working towards something, you might be finding yourself that you're making progress and then you're, you're getting this up and down energy of within self, right? There's something that maybe hasn't started out great, um, Again, Ace of Swords could reflect that. Ace of Swords can sometimes be a bit of a bumpy start that you finally acknowledge and understand as you're moving forward because I can see you're a little challenged around something here. Um, that Something's bothering you, okay? And whatever this bothering you is, I feel you're going to move through it because you it's like you're giving yourself the go-ahead with this Mother Star card. It's like that's where you're meant to go, that's where you're meant to leave and lead and you're driving that forward. So let's see where this is taking us as we move through this. Thank you, Spirit. So we've got the Magician Energy. And if you want to know any of the decks or anything like that, um, I do have the, uh, the links below. Um, there's just one link below uh, and it will give you access to, to those because um, I know if a few of you have been asking lately. Okay, the devil energy. I don't know if I like that. Um, and the world. Okay, what I think is happening, you may be questioning or concerned about another connection, 
being here, if, especially if you were in a situation where there was betrayal, someone cheated, um, wasn't upfront and honest about their motives um, or who they were. I know some of you have experienced that. But I feel this, you, you need to be careful too because sometimes there's our intuition and then sometimes we don't realise we're manifesting this crap as well. Um, and I say crap because sometimes when we're in this pattern and thinking of the worst or the trouble or the worry we don't realize we're actually creating those situations as well it's still manifesting it's the energy of of us or who we end up attracting or whatever else so if you end up being worried or oh, I don't want to meet someone who's going to cheat on me obviously I can imagine that you know you don't want to meet someone of that nature right but if you are putting that energy out as you're trying you know wanting to meet someone what, what do you end up attracting, right? And sometimes our own frequency, money, um, you know, when it comes to finances, I mean, a whole bunch of things. We're, we're manifesting, okay? So I just feel like if there is concern or trouble or that's something that you're worried about, um, you will find out or you'll need to know what you need to know to support you. But I feel like this energy is closing out. This is something that, is kind of done. Um, again, let's see where this is going because I can see that uh, there's there's a few of you that are a little concerned or worried about a situation, um, whether it's going to work out, whether you guys are going to be asked out, um, whether you guys are going to be invited to something. Um, there's some concern about something moving forward in the way that you are wanting and, it, and I'm just seeing that there is like some – serious mind work going into this energy going into this that could be just again building the tension that you're experiencing because I can see with this knight of swords the eight eight of wands sorry eight of swords and the seven of swords there's tension here and then we've got the devil that's like a, that is like feeling it to the depths of something it's just I'm just getting underneath there's something else going on and well that's what you're believing and that's what you're worried about and it must be the way someone is showing up here or the expectation of what you should be receiving out of this uh experience so again whether this is you know a person that you're wanting to get to know or you've been building a dynamic with whether this is being invited to something and it's um and moving forward that way um, whether this is around, you know, succeeding in an opportunity, whatever it is that I am seeing underneath it, something is moving forward. Something seems very strong where you're meant to be. Um, I feel too, there's parts that you're manifesting and growing and feeling good about it. But then there's this, I don't know, I feel like whew, a bit of anxiety coming with it, a bit of intention coming, like tension coming with it. So I'm going to unpack a little bit more here on um, – on this okay so there's some news or information that seems to be coming through here that has challenged you let's learn more with this seven of swords yeah so you're concerned that there's other people another party another energy what else do we need to know about this Yeah, you're wondering if someone's keeping to their promise or that the way that they're showing up here it seems to be that the way maybe that they're giving to this is not enough because it's coming through as a page of cups. Um, so it seems like it's someone that you're getting to know or someone wants to partner with you or has interest partying, partnering with you. Again, love, career, opportunity of some kind. But whatever you're going into, you there's something here you don't feel that you're the only one or there's more people involved and you're trying to understand, well, what is that? Because, you know, is that in alignment with, with what you want, what you desire? And I think that's part of what you may be trying to understand here. Let's dive in a little bit deeper um, on this message. What's this message about? Yeah, okay, another energy. So there might be another energy in the mix here. It could You could be hearing from someone. Um, or learn about someone else. This could be a mother figure. Um, 
Okay, look at this false person. Well, that's what you're worried about, okay? Let's unpack a little bit more and see where this is going. Let's um, get the, the devil energy. What do we need to know about this devil energy? Mature man and concern. Hmm. What's this concern? Thank you, spirit. Child. This could be that someone initially promised you something or was expressing something would happen a certain way. And, you know, maybe you've been patient with this energy. Maybe you've been patient. I don't know if there's kids involved, but it seems like there's either parental figures or someone that has some energy uh, influence over a younger person here. Okay. I feel like you've met someone or are meeting someone or are going on a new path and direction where you connect with someone that feels like there's a nice synergy going on. But for some reason, it's like something is trying to sabotage this uh, because it seems like this is going on really great. But with this devil energy, there's something, there's something else happening here. There's something else happening here. We're going to jump into an extended uh, and unpack this more, ask some further questions. What I can see is something is kind of cycling out. I don't know if this is just someone coming in right now, like I said, who's trying to sabotage a situation or the person that you're dealing with where you're kind of like unsure about. It's like you learn some further information, but at the same time, I don't know if there's just false promises and something stirs this up. Yeah, there's something not making sense about this overall situation. So if you want to join us in the extended, uh, it is the first link below. We'll start asking some more questions and, and, and see what, you know, comes through and get you some advice and understand the intention of these people. And um, yeah, we'll catch you there. If not, I'll see you tomorrow, friend. Bye now.